Yeah, good morning, everybody. Welcome to the Shrewsbury Club. It's great to see so many of you here again, and we're really delighted to host this event with, uh, with Shropshire Council. Uh, so let's talk a little bit about the, the tennis. I'm um, sure you heard me say this before, uh, those of you that have been to these events, but uh, we are really proud that we've brought an a event of this calibre to Shropshire. This is the biggest women's tennis event in the UK outside the grass court season, um, and there are only 30 cities around the world that hold an event of this stature. Last week, a W100 was taking place in Barcelona, this week it's taking place in Shrewsbury. I think that's fairly cool. Um, I think what sums up though, apart from those sort of stats, is that the probably the headline player in terms of our most highest profile player here today is um, Anna Karolina Schmiedlova, who eight weeks ago, just eight weeks ago, was playing on the centre court, the Philippe Chatrier court at Roland Garros uh, against Iga Swiatek, the world number one, competing for a bronze medal at the Paris Olympics. And now this week she's actually here. So we asked her for a quote uh, before the event and her quote came back and it was as though we, we, we'd been written by our Visit Shropshire team. It basically said, uh, she said, look, I, I travel around the world. I get to see some amazing places uh, and players on the tour have told me that uh, the UK is wonderful. I've only ever been here for the grass court season and I heard that Shrewsbury was great. So I'm coming to look forward to see what it is. So uh, so she's here. And actually, let me tell you, actually, those of you that, that are here and don't have to rush back to the office. We had the draw last night uh, and Anna, Anna Schmiedlever has drawn Heather Watson. It's like Manchester United versus Liverpool in the third round of the FA Cup. So, so the first round match, which will start at 10.30 over in the stadium arena that we set up in the club, will be Anna, Anna Schmiedeva against Heather Watson. So hopefully you can stay on when this event is finished. You've learned all about the Smithfield Riverside development. Uh, head over into there and, and watch some world-class tennis. Um, we, we've seen this event as a way of actually promoting Shrewsbury and Shropshire and we think it's important that it's not just about this week that actually we take it out into the community and, and build on the, the, the event and, and the whole benefits of tennis uh, uh, and sport in the in a wider context. So right throughout the summer uh, we've had a arts competition based on the principle that tennis is about expressing your creativity and art is about expressing your creativity so you'll see on the wall over there uh, the 40 finalists out of over a thousand Shropshire school children that have taken part in an art project to create some artwork in the stencil of the W100 and we've got Gabby Taylor who was a professional tennis player and is now a professional artist and who played here a few years ago coming to actually present the prizes but it's just one way that we take this event beyond the one week that we have uh, in Shropshire uh, in Shrewsbury for the, for the event and actually make it uh, an all year round kind of event that culminates in this week. As Carl alluded to, there's been some changes at the club. You're going to hear about that uh, in a moment. Uh, the club's been acquired by David Lloyd. That was very much the decision that was made with my head and not with my heart. So I just want to take this opportunity really uh, to thank all of those of you in the room who are members uh, of the club. Um, we've been on a bit of a journey when we took the club on 13 years ago. It was in administration uh, and it only had about 2,000 members and we hand it on now with 6,000 members. It's a flourishing business and we're grateful for all of those of you in the room who have been members and have supported us. We recognise too that everybody has their part to play in the journey of a club or a facility and David Lloyd are without doubt uh, the right people to take the club forward, they've got the right investments, the club is bursting at the seams and they can develop it and take it on and I think it's uh, important to recognise the time to pick up the baton but it's also recognising the right time to hand it on and we feel we've hand, we're handing it on to a great partner, bringing in a European operator like David Lloyd to take on this facility is great for the club but it's great for the town too that that kind of investment comes into the local community. Some of you that will know me will also know that you know I'm passionate about developing the area and the location into which our business is based so we have tried in the 13 years to get as involved as we can uh, in the local community and develop stuff and so I'd also like to thank uh, a number of you that have sponsored and made this event possible and I know you're sat in the room too past sponsors and present sponsors I think it's really great that an event like this is a, only happens because 33 local companies sponsor and get involved in the event and that's what enables us to put this kind of uh, event on and local businesses that that kind of host it with us like Shropshire festivals that have the creativity to bring all the things that you see here and in this room and make it so special um, and finally I'd like to thank those of you in the room that I've got to know through the work that I've done with the growth, growth hub the LEPS remember those 
uh, and uh, and the business board as well. It's been uh, wonderful to be part of the Shrewsbury and Shropshire business scene. I work all around the country, all our different clubs, um, and it's true to say that without doubt, uh, the Shropshire business community has a real atmosphere and a, and a spirit of wanting everybody to su succeed that I don't experience when I work in the other areas that, that I'm in. So uh, it's something that I'm gonna really miss. Still be involved with the business, uh, obviously Mosaic, and I will be peering over the marches from our club in Hereford uh, to see what you're doing and what you're getting on with. But it's been wonderful to be part of your community for the past 13 years, and thanks to all of you for your support. Keep being brilliant, Shrewsbury, and, uh, and who knows, maybe we'll see you again really soon. Thank you.